All right, today let's make some Coca-Cola ice cream. Now, when I was young, I used to love getting Coke floats. So recently, I've been wondering if it'd be possible to make a reverse float with kind of the ice cream part being Coca-Cola and then like a cream soda being the soda part. And so for that, I needed some Coca-Cola ice cream. Now, the ice cream I ended up with literally tastes like an ice cream float. And honestly, it works so well that I'm, I'm kind of surprised it's not more common. Now I say ended up with because it definitely, definitely made a few mistakes along the way. So I'm gonna be covering some of the dead ends that I hit so you don't have to. However, if you wanna just learn how to make it without the journey, feel free to skip ahead to this time right here. All right, to start off with, we need some concentrated Coca-Cola syrup to flavor our ice cream. Now to do this, I'm just gonna boil off the water to concentrate the Coca-Cola flavor. So to start off with, I added about two liters of Coca-Cola into a pot and put that over high heat. And I'm just gonna let this heat up and start boiling. Now all the stuff in Coca-Cola has a lower boiling point than water. So as the water gets boiled off, the syrup will get stronger and stronger. And well, maybe a little too strong. I let mine boil for about 30 minutes and I was occasionally tasting it along the way, but I definitely let it concentrate too far. And I actually ended up cooking the syrup to the point where it became a candy. Now I must have hit at least the softball stage of the candy making process. I didn't measure the temperature. On top of this, something in the Coca-Cola must have burned because it kind of tasted really bitter. Now I was sort of hopeful that it would mellow out while mixing with the cream, but that didn't turn out to be the case. So it was an awful sticky mess that just was a total fail. And that bitterness never really went away. So it was back to the drawing board. I once again put a pot over high heat and let it boil down again. But this time I kept better track of the temperature. As the Coca-Cola boils, the amount of water lowers and therefore the concentration of the syrup goes up. Now as this happens, the boiling point rises and the temperature of the syrup will also go up. Now as this temperature rises, it progresses through different candy stages, which will kind of tell you what it'll be like when it cools. I've covered candy making before on this channel, but if the concentration of sugar actually gets high enough, you could end up with something like a Coca-Cola candy cane. However, that's not really what we're going for here. And it really seems like something burns at a temperature around 250 degrees Fahrenheit or about 120 degrees Celsius. So what we want to do is get this to the thread stage, which is about an 80% concentration of sugar and about 20% of water, minus the other stuff. And it'll leave us a, a syrup that we can work with. So I just heated it up until it reached 220 degrees Fahrenheit or about 105 degrees Celsius, which is kind of in the syrup regime of the candy making stage. And I just pulled it off and it seemed like syrup I could work with until I collected over a cup or about 300 milliliters of syrup. So now let's talk sugar. Now one serving of Coca-Cola has 39 grams of sugar and there are six servings per bottle. This means in total we should have about 234 grams of sugar in the syrup, which is actually about one cup. Now, most ice cream recipes require about one cup per quart, which is how much we're making, so we're good. So now it's time to actually make the ice cream base. And I'm going pretty simple here. So I have two cups of heavy cream and two cups of half and half. And then I added my one cup of syrup and gave this a mix, saving that last little bit for just playing around with. Now the flavor here wasn't extremely strong, but it was there and it worked, but I thought it would be a little fun to make it darker so that people knew it wasn't chocolate ice cream. And so I decided to add some activated charcoal, which was a trend to add to ice cream a few years ago to kind of make this dark ice cream that, that was kind of hot. So I decided to add some in and mix it in. And besides being messy as all get out, it didn't really mix in super well, or at least the stuff that I had didn't. And I probably also could have added more. But what it was doing was it was turning my ice cream more gray. And you know, as I added more, it just kind of became a bluey gray, which was not really what I was going for. It kind of ended up the color of like Batman's like tunic from the 90s animated cartoon. And at some point to me, it just became clear that this wasn't gonna work. And I mean, I probably could have endured and somehow made this work, but I wasn't pleased with the fact the flavor wasn't very strong. So I was like, you know what, I can do, I can do a little better. So third time's the charm and this time it is gonna work. So I once again, put a pot over high heat. However, this time I opted for two two liter bottles of Coca-Cola, which is approximately a gallon of Coca-Cola. Now I wanted to make enough syrup to make a really strong Coca-Cola flavor. Now boiling this down did take time, about 45 minutes of boiling. And in the end, the syrup got up to about 235 degrees Fahrenheit or about 112 Celsius. So the concentration was a little bit higher than the last batch. So in the end, I ended up collecting about two cups of syrup which is about 450 milliliters. So now that we have our syrup, it's once again time to make our base. So I'm gonna be using two cups of half and half and two cups of heavy cream. And then I'm, this time I'm gonna add about one and a half cups of the syrup. I mixed everything up and it was actually perfect. I was really happy with the flavor this time. I even had some leftover syrup to play around with later. So if I were you and wanted to do this, I would recommend only boiling down about three liters of Coca-Cola, which will save you some time on the boiling stage. All right, now we need to cool this mixture down in the fridge for a few hours. And once it's cool, we can go ahead and add it to our ice cream maker, load it up with all the paddles and doodads and let it go. All right, after about 30 minutes in the ice cream maker, my ice cream looked like this. I scooped it out into a container, added it to the freezer to let it kind of really harden up and boom, that's it. So yeah, I just scooped some out and what we have here is some delicious Coca-Cola ice cream. And one really interesting thing about this ice cream is that 
I don't normally think about this, but Coca-Cola is not only sweet, but it's also quite sour. So the ice cream has that nice tang you get from Coca-Cola and really is reminiscent of an ice cream float. In fact, it works so well, and I definitely recommend making this. All right, so that's it for this week. There'll be more videos coming soon, and uh, see you guys later. All right, bye.